The automaton will work with any coin that passes through a standard 5.5 inch slotted strip. Inside the case, the push button moves a roller up and down. The electric motor is switched on by the lever in the battery box. No other wiring is needed. A linkage is used to pull the battery lever upwards. The pulley tries to press down here to pull up the linkage on the battery box. But the linkage won't move because this arm is trapped at the end of the machine over here. This is the end of a long lever so it doesn't take much effort from this little bracket to prevent movement. That's as far as it can go. However, when we put in a coin, the bracket moves out of the way and the arm can be pushed down. The coin falls on this lever. It's plastic, light, but very strong and stops the rod below it from moving until the coin goes in. There's a pole here that locks on a fish plate. Here it is from a different angle. The pole can be unlocked like this. The rod to the left extends over here and can be lifted. How does it get lifted? This weight gets lifted up until it passes 12 o'clock. The arm at this end of the weight assembly lifts the pull release, switching off the motor and so the automaton stops. The performance lasts about 40 seconds depending on the strength of your batteries. Here's the weight assembly. There's a couple of wheel discs, a bent strip and an obtuse corner bracket attached to it. It pivots at this hole at the top. Here's part of the drive mechanism to the Acrobat. The gear wheel here has got some set screws in it. They're smaller than a normal Meccano bolt. They're at irregular intervals around the outside. And they drive set screws on this bush wheel. There's eight of them there, the full set. And they mesh together as though they were gears. A normal pinion drives the gear here. Here it is working in the machine. A large washer here on a sprung crank acts as an index lead. A pinion in an early part of the drive is turned by a worm below. Pinions attached to the weight mechanism which switches off the machine. The motor here turns the pulley using a drive band wrapped around its shaft very close to the rim of the pulley. It gives a good reduction. At the back of the mechanism, the drive from the bush wheel, which is intermittent, extends out to this black multi-purpose plastic gear. Inside the back of the casing, there's another corresponding black gear to carry the drive. At the back of the machine, drive continues through a pulley and a drive band up to the gymnast at the top. These extra pulleys are there just to adjust the tension. The gymnast's bar is attached to the crank which is his arm. Inside the bottom of the machine money is collected in a plastic battery box. 
This one from the 1970s works better as a receptacle for coins than batteries.